I'm Craig Jarrett, and welcome to America's News Headquarters. And I'm Marcel Neville, topping the news right now. New word for... Hello, everybody, and happy 4th of July. Thanks for spending part of it with us. A brand new effort to salvage diplomacy and resolve a nuclear standoff. I'm Rick Fulbaum, in for John Scott. And I'm Arthel Neville, in for Jenna Lee. World powers in Iran agreeing in Istanbul to continue technical talks. A Fox News alert on a tragedy of epic proportions. One of the most powerful storms in over 30 years ripping through the Philippines. Leaving a trail of death and destruction, the Red Cross now estimating about 1,000 people were killed so far. That number expected to rise sharply as rescue workers reach remote areas cut off by the fast-moving storm. Hello, everyone. Glad you're with us. Welcome to America's News Headquarters. I'm Greg Jarrett. And I'm Arthel Neville. Well, that storm Greg is talking about is forcing thousands of people out of their homes while causing landslides into... A Fox weather alert now. Folks in the Northeast are getting yet another winter wallop as a fast-moving major winter storm is threatening to dump a foot or more of snow this weekend in some areas. Welcome to America's News Headquarters, everyone. Glad you're with us. I'm Greg Jarrett. And I'm Arthel Neville. Let's take a look now at live pictures at Snow 8, New York City. The National Weather Service is alert. We're learning new details now. After months of controversy and shooting. scandal, some Hello, big everyone. changes could Welcome be coming to, to the government's controversial Hello, surveillance program. And I'm Arthel Hello, everybody. I'm Greg Jarrett. Welcome to Inside America's News Headquarters. I'm Arthel Neville. While President Obama is vacationing in Hawaii, he is set Hello, I'm Greg Jarrett. Glad you're with us. Welcome to a brand new hour inside America's news headquarters. And I'm Arthel Neville, topping the news this hour over Crimea. As President Obama calls world leaders today, trying to find a peaceful solution to the crisis. Amy Kellogg is live in Kiev with the latest. Amy? Greg, Russia today is saying that the West has inspired all of this trouble in Ukraine. That's from Russia today. Meanwhile, I'm Arthel Neville, a busy Saturday. Those militants, well, they're now threatening to march on the Iraqi capital. After Hello, I'm Eric Shawn. Welcome to a brand new hour of America's News Headquarters. And I'm Arthel Neville, topping the news this hour, the second phase of the... Hello, I'm Eric Shawn. Welcome to a brand new hour of America's News Headquarters. And I'm Arthel Neville, topping the news this hour. And Admiral Arthel Neville, welcome inside a brand new hour of Inside America's News Headquarters. Arthel. Added all kinds of insights there. <laughs> well, it's America's News Headquarters. That's what counts. Absolutely. Hi, Arthel. Good yeah. to see you. I'm Eric Shawn, topping the news this hour. The Senate has made a deal. I don't want to debate. Don't want to hear about what kind of... Welcome to America's News Headquarters. Hello, Arthel, and hello, everyone. I'm Eric Shawn. The Islamic State, of course, calling itself a, quote, entire army thirsty for your blood. This is the White House is condemning this latest tragic beheading and calling for the release of all remaining home to America's news headquarters. I'm Eric Shaw. And I'm Arthel Neville. Well, people in the Midwest are expected to see the worst of the storm right around game time. We are talking gusts of winds up to 40 miles per hour and visibility and snow drifts. After that, the storm moves towards New England, potentially delivering yet another blow to the folks still clearing out from last week's storm. Some dramatic new details emerging this evening about that daring raid by U.S. Delta forces who took out a top ISIS leader in Syria. Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Sean, and this is America's News Headquarters. And I'm Arthel Neville. Glad you could join us. Emotions running high in Cleveland after a judge acquits a white police officer in the shooting deaths of two unarmed black suspects. Hello, everyone. I'm Arthel Neville. Welcome to a brand new hour inside America's News Headquarters. And I'm Greg Jarrett. And for Eric Sean, we'll talk about the news this hour. Protests taking place in Clayton. Fair. Hello, Absolutely. everyone. I'm Eric Sean. This is America's News Headquarters. And I'm Arthel Neville. All of this coming as we get a brand new Fox News poll of the GOP field following the first primary debate in Kristen Fisher. Hello, everyone. I'm Arthel Neville. Welcome to America's News Headquarters. And hello, Arthel. Hi, and hello, everyone. I'm Eric Sean. Investigators say it was cardboard, paper, and a timer, all found in one of the plane's lavatories by a passenger who says he noticed something that looked like a, quote, stopwatch mounted on a box. We are inside America's News Headquarters. I'm Arthel Neville. And hello, Arthel. Hi, and hello, everyone. I'm Eric Sean. We may remember Mr. Romney and Mr. Trump harshly bitter and critical of each other during the campaign. Mr. Romney calling the now president-elect 
More back then. I'm Sean, and this is a brand new hour of America's News Headquarters on this Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. I'm Arthel Neville. And topping the news this hour, North Korea. America's News Headquarters. I'm Arthel Neville. And I'm Mike Emanuel. In for Eric Sean. The regime reportedly setting off the massive blast at its nuclear test site in the Northeast. Well, President Trump igniting a new war of words with his former Democratic rival. His attack and her response this afternoon. Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Shauna. Welcome to a brand new hour of America's News Headquarters. Hi, Eric. And hello, everyone. I'm Arthel Neville. Well, the president firing back at Hillary. I'm Eric Shaw. And I'm Arthel Neville. Senator Franken breaks his eight-day silence to apologize to his accusers and says he will now focus on helping other victims of sexual harassment.